Hey guys. Well, I got an interesting story to tell you. So after I bought the Precision Matthews 727M, I decided it was time to get a bigger vise. For the X2, I had to use a little small uh, three inch machinist vise, and that was definitely not gonna work for the Precision Matthews. So I got to look it online and I just couldn't bring myself to spend five or six hundred dollars on a Kirk vise. And I know there are other quality vices out there that are similar to those, but they're still in the three hundred dollar range. And for me, that is just I just can't do that. So I got to looking on eBay as I always do uh, for some bargains, and I came across these this vise here. They had the four inch and the six inch. But there was only like $20 difference in the two, so I decided, well, I wasn't really sure which vise to get for this size machine. Um, the 6 inch appeared to be a little too big, and the 4 inch appeared to be a little too small. And that's kind of where I'm at. So I went ahead and bought the 6 inch vise. Now the 6 inch vise is 6 inches wide. five inches tall and about 15 inches long and they advertised it at about 70 pounds which is probably pretty close um, as far as I can tell once I got it I realized that it just it really hangs off about seven inches on this side and it hangs off the back about another inch and because of the bellows it doesn't allow full travel backwards so I may end up having to take the, and remove this bellows anyways come up with something different that's a little bit more compact but we'll see once we get the conversion done and as you can see uh, it, it really hangs off just way too much you can see how, how much it, it hangs off the front here. And just the overall size of this thing is just huge. And then in the back, it's hanging off about an inch too. So, uh, it also has these places you can put to index it. So I can get it to go about right there. And then you can see I've got a good inch and a quarter. Yeah, almost an inch and a half right there that it hangs off. And you can see it's real close to the bellows, so I'm not going to get my full travel. This will go all the way back to here. Uh, the table will go all the way back to here. So uh, I was... That leaves me with turning the vise longitudinally, like so, which is not bad. Uh, you know, that'll work. I can do that. Uh, and I'll be able to machine everything and get my full travel. Uh, and it'll work just fine like that. So, Using the six inch vise, I'm definitely going to have to um, go with it like this. Now, another thing that this vise has is it has a spot in the center too to index it and line it up in the center. So, I mean, setting up the vise is pretty easy getting it trammed up because it has these alignment notches in there. And it has, um, it comes with little, comes with little steel uh, bars that bolt to the bottom of the vise and lock it, lock it in. Not lock it in, but guide it, to help guide it. And then, of course, you can clamp it on the side. I've seen people drill holes through here and then bolt it into their groove, so that's probably what I would end up doing. And then maybe putting a bolt uh, at the end or a... 
uh, using the clamp. So I pondered the six inch vise for about a week and a half and I decided that I probably should get a four inch vise because the six inch is just really really big and I don't normally machine real wide stuff so I thought well for the most part it might just be easier to go with the smaller four inch vise so that's what I did. I went ahead and bought a 4 inch vise. Now, the 4 inch vise has the same notches on the front going down the center so you can turn it sideways and get it lined up. And it has uh, the notches in the bottom. Let me see if I can show you. It has the notches in the bottom that line up and then you can easily square it up it also this particular vise this one allows you to machine on the side as well as the bottom and this one has the flange around it now I was going to go with the same type for the four inch but when I went back to get one they were all sold out so I just decided to get one with the flange and it has a spot here on the side for you to uh, bolt it down as well as having the flange uh, those pieces in there that lock it down so that was a plus but you can see that the size difference in the two vices but for most of the stuff that I'm going to be machining I think the four inch is fine ideally for this particular meal I'm thinking a five inch would be perfect the only problem is the only five inch vices I've seen were uh, like this were made by Tormac and they're like you know 275 which is way more than I want to spend so so another thing I wanted to point out with these vice it has threaded ends on here uh, the four inch as well as the six inch they're threaded on both ends and you can actually bolt these plates to the other end. You can see the size difference also in the handles. I mean, it's just a much bigger vise. But these holes right here, you can take these plates and move them to the ends. And then that way you can actually overall length of a piece of material that you can fit in here is a lot greater than just the six inch that it calls for so let me get this opened up and I'll show you what I'm talking about so that's all the way open on the four inch vise and I can get about uh, four and seven eighths about four and seven eighths inch piece in there that I could actually clamp up so almost a five inch piece but if I unbolt these I don't know if you can see that okay. so if I unbolt these right here I can actually mount that plate in these two holes and in the back as well then you can actually clamp between the two and it looks like about a 10 inch space right there now you won't be able to do any machining where your you know the actual vice is, but in the center here you can do all the machining you need to. Um, so you could really get like maybe a 10 inch piece in between there. So looking back at it, I probably should have just went with the four inch vice, and I think that's going to cover most everything that I need. Anything bigger than that, I'll probably just use my clamping kit and just clamp it straight to the table. Uh, but that's just something I wanted to kind of point out and just maybe kind of give you a size comparison. It's really hard to see on the video because I watch videos with other uh, individuals that had these big vices, these six inch vices and stuff, and I thought, well, that, it seems like it's a good size. But when you actually get the vise and put it up on your meal, 
this thing is huge. So I'm going to say, and this is just me, in my opinion, I wouldn't go with the six inch vise unless your table is at least uh, nine inches wide. And that covers, nine inches covers more than half the vise. Uh, because as you can see, it's just a really, it's just a really big chunk of metal there. And likewise, and, and this, this vise also opens up and it has the two screws inside that match these two screws. And so you can um, bolt between the surfaces as well. But they both seem to be, you know, fairly decent vices. This one was from Sars Tool, Char's Tool Company. Uh, I think I got it. Uh, it was off eBay as well. It was uh, Machine Tools Online, uh, and I didn't get the base, you know, the rotating base because I didn't think I'd need that with the CNC. But uh, this vice was fairly reasonable. I think this vice was. Uh, like $70 plus $30 shipping, about $100, $98, something like that. Uh, this one was $128 and about $35 shipping. I would ship it back, and they'll give me my $128 back, but it's going to cost me another $35 to ship it back, so I'm going to be into it uh, $70, bucks, and I won't have anything to show for it. So I just soon keep it if I'm going to have to spend $70 for nothing, so... But that's just a vice comparison. Just thought I'd shoot a real quick video and just kind of show the two uh, side by side. So for those of you interested in getting a vice for your meal, I thought I'd do this just this quick little comparison between the six inch and the four inch since I had them both. So thanks for watching the videos. Uh, I'm going to try to start getting some wiring done. Uh, on my control panel I'm still kind of waiting for some items to come in I, before I can really get started so so I've kind of just been holding off and then with the holidays it just makes it a little bit more difficult but please subscribe to the YouTube channel thanks for watching and most importantly be safe